Hey, I'm Pastor Eddie. I'm Pastor Mandy. This is this month's Parenting Tip. Kids love stories. Maybe you've noticed they love telling them, and most of all, they love hearing them. True. That's because stories are one of the primary ways a kid learns. So if there's something important you want your kid to understand, don't think like an adult, think like a kid. And wrap that truth in a story. First, tell your life story. Your life is full of stories that your child needs to hear. But if you wait for your kid to ask about those stories, you'll end up never sharing them. Talk about your life, your family, your past, and your childhood. Share your good moments and your failures. Talk about when you learned hard lessons. If you can learn to be open and honest now, when your kid is young, as they grow older, they'll be much more likely to ask about your insights and experiences when they're really needing it. Second, tell God stories. Share stories from your own faith journey. Share stories about what God is doing around you. And when it comes to teaching kids about who God is, share stories from scripture. And this is really important. If you want to teach a child about faith, don't just teach them facts about Jesus or the Bible. Instead, tell them stories. They'll be much more likely to remember a Bible story than a fact. And the good news is the Bible is full of stories we can share. Yeah, that's a really great point, Pastor Mandy. And for our teenagers, really they're in the middle of an identity crisis. They're trying to figure out who they are and what they're good at and what they like, who they wanna hang out with and who they wanna become. They've got big questions and insecurities and some serious blind spots. In the middle school and high school years, there's a lot to do and learn when it comes to your kid's identity. But as an adult who gets to parent them, telling your stories is so important. The stories of when you were a teenager, tell them what you experienced and what you felt, what you learned, what you loved and what you regret. Share your fears, questions and insecurities, your struggles and stories of faith. Why? Because your teens need to know that what they're going through, you have already been through. They need to know that, that you're real, that you're authentic. When you share your personal stories of what it was like to be a teenager, you help normalize their experience because trust me, every teenager is wondering if they're weird or alone or the only one who's ever experienced what they're experiencing. When you tell stories about the time that you did something awkward or made a mistake or had big questions, then you're assuring that what they're thinking, feeling, and experiencing isn't all that weird. Hey, thanks for joining us this week.